Let me pull myself up here. Adjust myself. So we are going to do a reading that is a little bit different. Um, I've had these cards for years, actually, and I've never felt comfortable enough to do a reading for anyone with them because there are so many different messages and I like to be able to pull the messages in and fluidly give them um, a lot of stopping and starting actually kind of fucks up my, my jam like I, I, I commend other readers that can do that but I need to be able to be in a space where I'm able to pull in the information and just kind of give it out as it's there and if I'm too focused on what this means what that means I have a, a problem getting the messages through so I waited a long time until I use these so what we'll be doing is there are going to be two choices you can listen to one or the other or all of them it is really up to you there will be the yellow which is the action cards there will be three different choices for action cards and then there will be the pink which is the outcome and there will be three different time stamps for the outcomes so what you could do is pick you know an action card or an action one two or three and then you can pick an outcome one two or three or you can just watch all of it straight through whatever resonates to you like I said this is a really different than anything I've ever done uh, it's got a lot of different messages though and there are so many different varied ways that you guys can get what you need so I would like to start making this a thing so let's do the shuffle and I just like to write down the times that I start everything so you guys can fast forward if you want. Give me the messages um, for the planets for water signs please. The first cards are planets and then it goes signs, houses. One card please. Signs for water signs, or excuse me, planets for water signs. just got the same card that's wild um, all right signs water signs are dealing with please I totally forgot to do my intro with the I'm starting over I never do that my bad guys, sorry. Real shuffle, uh, three minutes, totally apologize. I'm, I'm not, I, I can't do my readings without doing that. That's probably why I'm all off the place. I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ascended masters, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give the water signs a message that isn't their highest good today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, planets for water signs, please. Super embarrassed about that guys, but no, I'm not gonna do the readings without introducing them like pulling them in and yeah see this One card guys um, Without pulling them in and Stepping out Myself and to me that is the way I do that. So one card, please Jeez, well, Thank you. <laughs> All right signs for water, please signs that for water Baby showing up here. Heavy. Houses for water, please. Alright, so. First message. Woo! Water signs. They want you to step all the way back into Scorpios, definitely. Uh, Cancer and Pisces, absolutely too. Like, this is for water signs, but like, Scorpio, you showed up in your own reading. Like, you showed up in the collective reading. So, um, it's really interesting because, okay, you're Scorpion, right? With the snake in between. They want you to connect to your intuition because your Kundalini may be ready to awaken. Resurrect the extraordinary power of prayer, but do it responsibly. Yeah, so like, when I, when I, Here's spirituality and responsibility together. It's like there is a very powerful energy that you have the ability to, to hone and utilize. But you have to do it with the right intent. 
So like the first action card is like you needing to step into your higher self. And if you used to do it, you don't do it anymore. Like the word resurrect, like bring that back to life, right? moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right minding think or thinking and the energy of love so yeah they want you to step all the way back into your um into yourself your kundalini is trying to to awaken but if you're always doing this always doing this always doing this always doing this like how can like your kundalini rise up when you're never sitting still for it to do so All right, message number two. I'm definitely getting this as like self. Get to the heart of the lowest and highest aspects of success. You're trying to skip some steps and it's like, I'm really happy getting Scorpio right now, but like it's, it's the steps you're trying to skip are the steps needed so that that success, like you'll get to success, right? But what you don't want to have happen is you get to success, but there's the foundation is super faulty. And what I'm getting is that the steps that you're skipping are the steps needed to lay the foundation so that your success is solidified and that it, it be it brings like i'm hearing like the possibility of generational wealth but you have to do it the right way with the right intent the universe is responding to what is being based felt to what is being felt based off of your focused intent yeah like i said your intent right now is it is affecting your success because you don't have your intent is not what you say it is just the messenger okay uh message or yeah message number three action number three wow um this is intense number three do or die you must control the situation and become a person of power and status first off being able to control anything outside of you is a lie if you are someone trying to control things outside of you, you will never get there simply because you were not controlled enough within you to control your own mind, which is actually what's creating every circumstance outside of you that you are trying to control. Mind fuck. I know. It's a fucking mind fuck. I'm going to let you think about that for a minute while I sip some coffee. gonna like wipe the <laughs> milk foam stash off me yeah you were so engulfed in this that you don't see that the more you fight to control things outside of you the more you disconnect to who you are inside and the more out the outwards things uh without which is outside of you right the without begins to spiral out of control because you are spiraling out of control within Ooh, all because you care about what other people think the fuck you're kidding me right like what the fuck is this why would you care what anyone thinks if it's causing you 
to spiral out of control to the point where you have chosen to be a victim and you're seeing other people as being able to somehow affect your happiness. Again, I will always say this. If you're in a victim mentality, you have done this. Silver platter, happiness, handing it to someone else. There's an adjustment there that needs to go that's within, that needs to come from within. And you have to understand that the only control you have is the control over what you are doing, how you perceive things, what you are viewing, what you're focusing on. And what you focus on grows. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me to right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Okay, we got that with, I think, number two. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Okay, so there's like... There's like this list uh, of all these things, of these expectations, these ideals that you have. Like this, this subconscious list. And if, if, if one thing is missed on there... No. Like you do not understand the amount of energy that you're putting out trying to control something. It's very scorpionic energy, even if you are not a scorpion. Like scorpions... Like, think about a scorpion. Like, people don't like to fuck with scorpions. They don't want to get stung by a scorpion. You know, they're just, they're not trying to mess with the scorpion. You are in your scorpion energy, and you're pushing so hard to do something that those around you are just like, like, maybe they've tried to talk to you about it, but, like, you're now you're at this point where it's like, you're literally in a do or die mindset. And, like, it's not that serious. Unless it's about your your personal spiritual growth if it's about 3d matrix things you've already lost the situation because you think you have control over anything outside of you get mad i don't give a fuck <laughs> i'm on the cusp of scorpio by one day so ask me if i care if any of y'all are mad about these messages i don't you need to hear these messages. These are messages that need to be given because you're going too quickly to hear anything else, but yet you'll stop and listen to a tarot reading. All right. Don't hate, don't hate me for being the one to give it to you because you won't sit still long enough to listen to your guides. Okay. Now we're going to do the uh, message for outcome number one. <laughs> there was a sign like when I was growing up that a few people had printed where my mom worked and it was a bullseye printed onto a paper and at the bottom they would have it like hanging on a wall and at the bottom it just said bang head here like the need for control of purification to resurrect your destiny I have the hiccups again with the control again with thinking you have control unless you're purifying the way you're viewing your spirituality and you're diving into your spirituality and you're resurrecting your spirituality so that your kundalini can awaken you have no control over anything outside of you like this is out of control at this point <laughs> so out of control with like the delusion that anything outside of you can be controlled when you don't have your mind controlled there's nothing wrong with what is being felt or viewed so long as, as it doesn't hinder the growth necessary to ascend to your true self if you're trying to control things outside of you you're not you're not working on yourself end of story all arguments are invalid not here to argue with you i'm just letting you know the lack of control here creates all of the fuckery there. Everywhere you look. Because it's it's literally the same as when you walk into your house and if your mind is a mess, you notice like those times that your house is a mess, your kitchen is a mess, your your room is messy, your closet's messy, you've got your laundry's piled up because you've got other shit going on in your mind. 
the entire world is a mirror like that not just your in not your outer world of your house but the entire world is like that and if you will slow down long enough to understand that every single thing that happens is actually a message to a higher message that you actually place there yourself mind fuck i know what you will understand that the control only needs to come from what you're thinking and focusing on and once you get that shit down oh boy <laughs> you're unstoppable but that is going to require you to stop thinking that anything you do outside of you is going to change the things happening within you if you're unhappy now everything outside of you will make you unhappy at some point it might like light your fire for a little bit but at the end of the day it's not going to be what solidifies your happiness because you're still choosing to to choose something outside of you is making you happy i feel like i'm running in circles i think you guys get the message right we're going to go to number two for the outcome <laughs> all right the number two message for the water signs <sighs> Water signs. I need you guys to start meditating. Like, I need you guys to start meditating, okay? An obsession with the secrets of where you're going. If you meditated, you would know without a shadow of a doubt, there would be a blind faith attached to every step that you take. I don't know what's going to happen today, but it's going to be a good fucking day. Why? Because the universe got me. When you can have a stupid, like, childlike blind faith, the way a five-year-old with somewhat healthy parents and life, right? Not all five-year-olds had a healthy life, but like a regular one they might show in a TV show where there's no fuckery. You know, Hollywood. It's all fake. A five-year-old that has support... <laughs> right how would you think if you just always had support you need to understand that the universe is that you are the five-year-old the universe is your mom and dad that support you and they're always going to be there for you it's when you start doubting if they're going to come home and make your pb and j sandwich that you don't get your pb and j sandwich <laughs> these analogies stop obsessing about things that are already working out what's that saying like the majority of things we worry about don't even happen or some shit like that like it's a oh my god these fucking cards like every single message i just read next to the other one I'm, before i even get there i know i'm gonna be like ah! you guys just uh, there's so much that you're trying to control there's so many factors you are not god you are not god you're not god when i lean on certainty and faith can't make this up. I changed my mind about the world I see. Alright? They literally need you to be faithful and lean on the goodness of your mom and dad, the universe. <laughs> or your mom and mom, your dad and dad. However you prefer to be that. Okay? Like, that is really what needs to happen, number two. Alright, the outcome of number three. What a surprise. A power struggle resulting from the power of your career. You know how they say every level brings new devils? It's like <clears throat> the more powerful you've gotten, like, you know when you're like working from the, the bottom, you're like, yeah, when I get to the top, this is shit I'm never going to worry about. No, no, this shit that you worry about is way worse. Now this shit you worry about is dumb as hell. This is fucking... I'm about to go Krillis in the middle of your reading. Let me... The shit that you are struggling to get power over is... Not so much people, but yourself. Because your, your negativity and, like, the thoughts you tell yourself... I don't want to say you're negative all the time, but, like... I'm getting that, like... You have ingrained subconscious beliefs that work against you. And you may need you may need help from someone who knows how to, to break out of those um, timeline loops because your career is what you're focused on and if you're having a power struggle from from getting power from having more power in your career and it's like you've never had this much power before you've never had this much uh, I'm hearing rope before 
you're worried that too much rope you'll hang yourself like and the the, the thoughts that you're thinking of are um <clears throat> not working towards you like they're they're self-depreciating thoughts you want thoughts that are like fuck yeah i'm the one for the job i'm the only one for the job everyone loves me and people are attracted to me i'm magnetic like just start saying that over and over and over again yeah when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe so you have to be that universe or you have to be that universal support for yourself before the universe can step in because it always matches what you do i always say the universe is kind of like the mob right the energy you put out is the, the energy the universe gives back to you always no doubt without uh, with, n there's no way around this okay so all right water signs i hope that this helped you i know this is a little bit different it was a little bit longer than what a normal like read would be but i have had these for a while and i just wanted to try them out so if you enjoyed the reading please leave a comment down below um if you liked it please feel free to like the, the video it's free to do that it makes my day and if you want to hit that subscribe button super awesome as well and thank you to everyone that has taken the time to subscribe like the videos and comment i appreciate all of you i hope that you are able to get the messages and the growth out of these that you need namaste